Good morning dear students. Today we are going to uh, start with the remaining part of the particular chapter that is uh, numbers that we were already doing from the last class. Now in the last class what we have learned? We have learned about the objectives that what are the objectives of this chapter? What we are going to learn in this chapter? Okay. Now uh, today we are and we have also uh, got, got a little bit introduction about the five digit number. Since we are learning here, since uh, if you say we have got four digit number in class three itself. Now uh, this year we are going to in get uh, introduced with the five digit number. Now five digit number students, uh, the smallest five digit number, the greatest five digit number. So if we recall a little bit about that, the smallest, the smallest uh, five digit number is which one? If you write one and after that you have to put four zeros. So total number of digits how many? One, two, three, four, five. So it is a five digit number. And what is the number? It is ten thousand. Now how to read a five digit number that we will learn now? Then what will be the greatest one? What will be the greatest five digit number? So if you say the greatest five digit number student, it will be five times you nine put. Because nine is the greatest digit. So to make the greatest five digit number, you have to put nine five times. Since to make the smallest five digit number, you have to use one on the extreme left hand side and the remaining four digit you have to put zero 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 as zero is the smallest uh, digit you can say out of the ten digits. Now students how to read uh, a number because see in if you see the page number 25 uh, there is uh, the, uh, the first page that means the top, uh, the top part if you say it is given place value is given 10,000, 1,000, 100, 10, 1. And after in the page number 26 also, you, if you see, it is given one topic is, is uh, given that is writing numbers using periods. So students better learn to uh, learn about the periods and how to read and write a five digit number now itself together. Because both the topics are almost similar. So we can do it together right now. After that, we will go for the place value and phase value concept. Fine. So let us start with the uh, periods and reading writing a five digit number so we will give the heading as reading and writing a five digit number so you can say this will be the first topic of today's class now students uh, the, till class three you already got till thousand space one stands hundred thousand now since we are talking about five digit number so there will be one more place will be now added and that will be the 10,000 place let us see that one so first what one uh, first place is always the ones place second place is always the tens place then the next place is always the hundred one hundreds place then you got till last year you got till thousand not more than this now there will be one more place that will be added and that is 10,000. So this is, these are the places that we are going to discuss in this particular chapter. 10,000, 10, th means 10,000, I am writing in short, th, th means 1000 here, that is this is 1000 and this is 10,000 place, 100, tens, ones. Let us put some digits here and try to read that number. Say suppose I am putting a number, some digits here. So I have put five digits uh, on the different places. Now we will try to read this number. Let us write down this number together now. That is like this. Fine. Now students, you already come to know one thing that uh, when we talk about periods, what are periods actually? In Indian system, the first three place, this is the first three places means starting from ones, tens and hundred. These three places you have to consider a different period. And these two places, that is after these three digits, whatever the two digits are there, that is the fourth and fifth one, that is considered as a different period. Now and that is why we separate them like this, by putting a comma here. That means the three digits, you consider simply as one thing. This three digit, this there are three member of uh, three member there is a three member in a house and uh, so this is a different house and you can say this is a different house where only two members are there so that means you can say this is a different house this is a different house and we are putting a boundary 
in between the two houses because we can see uh, have you seen obviously that uh, in between two houses there is always a wall or boundary isn't it so you consider that former is that uh, boundary or the wall fine so that means we are separating these two houses now they have different names also as we have the house names house numbers you already have seen so we will have to give some name here what i will give this house i will give name as ones period this three member house together it is a same house and the name of this house will be ones period and what about this one this two place a uh, two member house which is the next one next house and that is known as the thousands period so students we have clearly uh, you can say distinguished in between these two houses one house is one spirit another house is thousand spirit so it is completely they are different fine so that's why i am putting a boundary here and that boundary we can consider by putting a comma fine so this period is known as one spirit this three digit together and this two digit together we call as thousand spirit so now when you separate them by their periods it is very easy now to read the number how let us see that so students till here it is clear please pause the video and write down this one because it is very very important if you if you uh, need to learn how to read or write a number a five digit number you have to understand about this period first otherwise it will be impossible for you to read and write a number fine so please note it down immediately pause the video and note it down because i am going to write it right now because i have to read, write something else so now let us go back Uh, in the particular thing that we are trying to do, and that is what we are trying to read this number or write this number. Fine. So this is six. Now, students, you consider this two-member house first. When we read a number or write the number name in words, we always have to start from the left hand side. So what is the two digits here? Seven and five. But we cannot say them seven five. Normally, what is this? Together, if we say what is this number? If you say together, it is how much? It is a two-digit number that is seventy-five. So we will call it as seventy-five only. But student, the seventy-five, where they are sitting exactly? If you see, they are sitting exactly in the thousands house because their house is thousand, as I said already. So we have to name them like this in words: seventy-five. Thousand. Then here you no need to put comma since we when we write the number in uh, numeral that is in word uh, sorry in numbers then you need to put comma when you uh, write the number in words then no need to put comma sometimes. So we have named the house that is we have named that particular two digit and that is seven five which is actually seventy five together. So seventy five and where they are sitting their house is thousand so seventy five thousand. Now the third about the Next house, that is the ones period. Now ones period, how we will read it as three, four, six? No, we are not going to write read it like that. We already learned how to read a three digit number, and this three digit number is how much? It is three. It is in the hundred space, so it is three hundred. It is four is in the ten space, so it is forty. So it is three hundred and forty now. And what is the six house? Six is ones house, so it is six only. So the this three digit will be called as three hundred. Three hundred and forty-six. So, so you can see, it becomes so easy to read a number or to write the number in words. That is called number name. If you know how to put the period, you can. How, if you know how to separate them according to their periods, it is very. It becomes very easy to read. Say seventy-five. It is in the thousands place. So put seventy-five thousand. Six, three, four, six. They are in the ones period. They have to be read together. So that is three hundred forty-six. As we already know how to read a three-digit number. So it becomes so easy for us. Let us take one more example. Please, students, write in, write down this one immediately. Now we are going to take a new number. Say suppose maybe you may get confused sometimes because of a zero. Suppose I am giving a next number. Say, say this one. Now this number six is in the ten thousand, three is in the thousand, zero is in the hundreds, five in tens, and three in ones place. 
So if we say we have to put this separately, put a comma and put this separately. Fine. So if you see the thousands house, what are the digits? Six and three. But we cannot say that six and three or six three. We have to call it together. Now six three will make sixty three. So we have to read it as sixty three thousand. That is sixty three. 63,000 and what about this? Hundreds place is missing that is 0 so no need to write it. So what is the next 2? That is 5 and 3 but we cannot say 5 and 3. This 5 and 3 will make what? 53. So 63,000 and it will be 53. So it is so easy to write the number if you know how to uh, separate them using the comma or by the periods. These are called this putting this comma actually are called periods and that we have learned there are two periods we got till now uh, that is uh, one period the first three digit will be the one period and the next two digit is the thousands period fine. So that is uh, about reading and writing a five digit number student. Now let us go ahead with the next topic that is about the place value. Now students what is place value and place value definition is already given in the textbook. Please note down this definition from the textbook itself. You can see students page number 25. In the page number 25 the below line is already given the definition of place value and on the back side you can say it is given the place the phase value. So you need to write down this place value and phase value the definition. Now uh, that is only the definition but what is place value and what is the phase value let us see that. So for that you need to be uh, you need to understand one thing. I will just explain you in a very simple language. Place value. Say suppose I am writing a five digit number. Say seven four six nine two. Fine. And how I have to separate it by putting the comma after the three digit. As I know, as you already I have already said to you just now. So now let us see student how many digit it has. It has. Uh, 5 digit 7 4 6 9 2 the place value is actually the value of the digits 7 will carry a different value 4 will carry a different 6 9 2 each digit will carry a different different uh, value for individual for its uh, uh, itself so uh, let us see what will be the value of 7 if you say how I will read what is the value where it is sitting actually? 7 is actually sitting in which place? 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000, 10,000. So this will be how much? 7, 10,000 or not? So that means it is 7, 10,000. 7, 10,000. Now 7, 10,000 in number, how we have to write? 7 into 10,000 means 1 and 5, 4, 0. This is 10,000. So 7 into 10,000 it will be how much? 70,000. Then 7 ones are 7 and then 4 zeros are there. So 4 zeros. So it is 70,000. Now 4 is sitting in which place? It is sitting in the thousands place. So it will be 4 thousands. So 4 thousands means we have to write 4 into 1000. 1 zero will be less now. And it will become how much? 4 thousand it will become. 6 is in the hundreds place, so it is 6 hundreds. So 6 hundreds means 6 into 100 and that will be equal to 600. 9 is in the tens place, so it is 9 tens. 9 tens means 9 into 10 and that will be equal to 90. And finally 2 is in the ones place, so it is how much? 2 ones. 2 ones means it is 2 into 1 and that will be equal to 2. Now students you see, we have got all the value of the different digits according, according to their digits. 7 is sitting in the 10,000 place, so 7 10,000s. And that is why we have to multiply 7 with the its, with its place, that is the 10,000 place. So 7 into 10,000 is 70,000. 4 is in the 1000s place, so 4 into 1000, that is 4000. 6 in 100s place, so 6 into 100, and that will be 600. 9 is in the tens place, so 9 into 10 and that is equal to 90 and 2 is in ones place, so 2 ones and that is 2 into 1, so it is 2. What about the values we are getting here on the right hand side? These are the place value of these digits. Very simple student. 
70,000 is the place below of 7, 4,000 is the place below of 4, 600 is the place below of 6, 90 is the place below of 9 and 2 is the place below of 2. So, how to get the place below? What I did actually, if you have observed properly, I have done a very simple thing students. Nothing to do so much hard work here, only a very simple thing. You need to take the digit and multiply the digit with its place. Very, very simple. 7, 7 multiply. By what you will multiply? 7 is sitting in which place? 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. So 7 into 10,000. How much you got? The result? 70,000. That is the product is 70,000. 4, where it is sitting? 4 is sitting in the thousands place. So 4 into 1000. Because since it is place is 1000. So 4 into 1000. That is the product is 4000. So 4000 is this place value. 6. 6 is sitting in the hundreds place. So 6 into 100. And that will be 600. So 600 is the place value of 6. 9 is sitting in the tens place. So 9 into 10. And that is why it is 90. So 90 is the place value of 9. And 2 is in the 1's place. So 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. So that is the place value of 2 here. So students it's a very simple rule or process how to find out uh, the what we say the place value of any digit. You need to simply multiply the digit with its place and the product whatever you will get that will be the place value of that particular digit. Clear student? Please note it down. Pause this video immediately and please note it down in your school copy so that you can remember that what I have done to find out the place value of each digit. Fine. So this is about the place value. Now students, I will talk about the phase value for this number only so that it will be very very clear for you what is phase value. So I am rubbing it down so students please note it down now. So students, if I now change this, if I change the name not place now i will write it as phase value so what is the phase value all this digit phase value of 7 will be 7 you will see the interesting thing what will happen phase value of 4 is equal to 4 phase value of 6 is equal to 6 phase value of 9 is equal to 9 and phase value of 2 is equal to 2. So, students, what did you understand from here? What is the difference of place value and phase value? See, 7. The place value we got 70,000. But phase value of 7 is 7 itself. 4. What was the place value? We got 4,000. But the phase value of 4, we can see now, 4 itself. Similarly, the phase value of 6 is 6 only. 9, 9 only. And 2, 2 only. So, that means... Phase value is nothing. Phase value is the number or sorry, the digit itself. No need to multiply, no need to do any operation, no need to plus, minus, divide, nothing. You see the digit, whatever the digit, that will be the phase value of that particular digit. That means the digit itself is called the phase value. And to get the place value, you need to multiply. But just I have shown you what are the phase, uh, place value of the digits, uh, how to multiply with digit and the place. That will be the place value. So, to get the place value, you need to do some work. Fine. But to get the phase value, you no need to do anything. You simply need to write down the digit itself. What will be the place value of 4? 4. four. Uh, for, sorry, phase value of 4? Four, 4. What is the phase value of 9? Nine? 9. What is the phase value of 2? Two? 2. Wherever it is sitting. 4 is sitting in the thousands place. 4 is sitting in the ten thousands place. 4 is sitting in the hundred place. Let it be. But the phase value of 4 will be 4 only, wherever it will be. If 7 comes here also, that is in the 1's place, and 2 comes here also, in the 10,000th place, then also the phase value will be same. That means phase value of 7 will be 7 only, wherever it is. Irrespective of its place, the phase value of a digit remains always the digit itself. No changes comes. So students, please pause the video and note it down right now. So, and I already said the definition of place value and the phase value, please note it down in the uh, school copy immediately, fine. So, that was the topic about place value and phase value, I hope you understood.
writing numbers using period in page number 26 that already we have discussed just now before display as well and phase below topic that how to separate the digits by their houses i already said the house three member house two member house and uh, how we put a comma in between to separate their houses one period thousand period so that already i have explained so i think that is now no need to explain again now the next topic is about the expanded form now student if i say the expanded form what is an expanded form expanded form let us see that let us go away to the expanded form now <coughs> expanded form say i am taking an example of a number then i will explain to you what is expanded form i hope you already got in class uh, uh, three also what is uh, this expanded form we will again discuss uh, about this say uh, uh, if i take any number, five digit number say i am taking this number say this one so I have to put a comma here since I already said you about the theories. Students always put comma whenever the comma is not given. After the three things, put a comma so that it becomes easy to read it immediately. So how much it is? 56. 56 is sitting in the thousands place. So it is 56,723. Now, if I have to write down the please uh, expanded form, it's very simple. Expanded form is nothing. It is the sum of the place values of the digits. I will under, make you understand. Let us write down the place value of all the digits one by one from left hand side. 5. 5 is in the which five is at which place? It is in the 10,000 place. So the place value of 5 will be how much? 5 into 10,000 as I show how to find out the place value. Then you need to put a plus sign. Fine. Then come to number next. That is it 6. 6 in the thousands place. So it will be 6 into thousand so after that again put a plus sign what is next here seven write seven and find out the place below seven seven is sitting in the hundreds place so seven into hundred then again put plus sign two what is the place below two two will be two into ten because it is in the tens place and finally three is in the ones place so three into one now finally students you need to write down this number the product you have to write 5 into 10,000 that will be how much? It will be 50,000. Plus 6 into 1000 it will be how much? It will be 6,000. Here 4 zeros are there, here 3 zeros are there. That means the zeros will decrease now one by one. 7 into 100 it will be how much? 700. 2 into 10 it will be how much? 20. And finally 3 into 1 it will be 3. Now student you see this line, the last line. What is this last line? The last line is nothing students, the last line is only the sum of the place value of the digits. If you have 5, the place value is 50,000, 6, 6,000, 7, 700, 2, 20, 3, 3. We have just simply find out the place value, found out the place value of the digit and we have written them as a plus sign in between. That means we have shown them as a sum of the place values. If you add all these numbers, you will get the same number back. That is 56,723. This form is known as expanded form. Now, students, what is the meaning of the expand word? Expand means to expand, to spread. So, we have done that already. You can see the number is very short now, looking very nice, very short. Isn't it? To read and to say. Now, that number has been expanded like this. Expanded means we have... Uh, shown them as a sum of their place values, so that's why it becomes it becomes a little bit larger now. It looks like a very long line, so that is why this is called the expanded form because the word says only expand means to spread. Fine. So this is the expanded form. Now, student, if this is expanded form, what will be the opposite to that? That will be the standard form. That means if I give you this line, if I ask you to write down the standard form, what you will do? You will simply add all this and you will write down the number, the smaller number and that will be called the standard form. So standard form I am coming now. Expanded form I think you got it. Let us take one more example for expanded form. Say uh, if I write now this one say. So if I have to write the expanded form of this number so put the comma here. So this is 25,305. 
2 is in the 10,000 place, so it will be 20,000. I am not writing that multiplication line, you can also skip that. If you can write the next line, the last line directly also, no problem. 2 and 4 zeros will come because the remaining are 4 zeros, so that means 4 zeros are coming, so that is 20,000. Then after that 5 is in the 1000 place, so 5 into 1000, so that will be 5000. So 5 and then 3 zeros we have to write, since 3 places are left. 3 is in the 100 place, so it will be 300. What about zero student? 0 is sitting in the tens place here. Now what will be the place value of 0 then? It will be 0 into 10. If I, go, if I am going to find out the place below of 0 but what do you think what will be the answer of this 0 into 10 it will be always 0 because we know when we multiply 0 with any number the answer is always 0 the product is always 0 so you don't need to show anything you simply have to write down the 0 here that means the place below of 0 is 0 and 5 is 5 so this is the expanded form of this number 25,305 so students please note it down also this one whatever and the previous one example also fine the pause you can go back pause the video or whatever you have uh, comfortably you can do that you do but please note down this expanded form also so what is the meaning of expanded form student expanded form means the sum of the place values of the digits of a number that is called expanded form so students the expanded form is already given the uh, you can say the definition is already given in the book you can see in the bold line it is already written so i am not going to give you a definition by my own i have just explained you what is expanded form you just simply write down this expanded form definition in your copy so whenever you write expanded form before writing this example you please don't note down this definition in your school copy and after that you write down the explanation or whatever I have explained just to you. Fine. So that is the expanded form. And the standard form I already say student, if I ask you, suppose, uh, so you note down this, uh, you can say the example. Now students, if I ask you what is the standard form of this number now, then you have to go back to the previous number. That means I have to write now the sort form, that is what is the number since it is having 5 digits so 5 will come here 0 will be here 3 will be here 5 will be here and 2 will be here so the number will be 28305 so again coming back to the small number that is called the standard form but to write down the uh, spreading the number or expanded form is this one right so that is expanded form concept so student, we have completed this expanded form. Now uh, you can see some real life examples are there. That is, I reply is there. Uh, I apply is there. Sorry, page number twenty seven. You can see it is I apply. Now students, it is very important to know the application. That is, how much uh, uh, where we can apply this uh, five digit number concepts in our day to day life. Let us see that uh, number example number three. You have 10 notes of 2000, 8 notes of 100, 15 notes of 10 in your piggy bank. How much money do you have in all? So 10 notes of 2000. So that means you can say that you have 10 notes. So it will be 10 into 2000. 2000 notes you have 10. So that is done. Then you can put a plus sign because we have to add at last. Then finally, 8 notes of 100. So that will be 8 notes of 100 means it is 8 into 100. Fine. Then uh, 15 notes of rupees 10. That is 15 into 10. And you need to find out how much is the total money. So if you have to calculate. Now students, if you calculate this, this is how much? 10 into 2000, 2 ones are 2 it will come. And how many zeros? 3 zero and 1 zero. So it will be 4 zeros together. So that is 20,000. 8 into 100 it will be definitely 800 and 15 into 10 it will be how much? It will be 150. Now you need to add all this together. So that is 20,000. Then this is 800 and finally 150. So now let us add all this. That is 0, 5, it is 9, 0, 8 and 2. So what is the amount we got? That is 20,950. So see students, now this is a 5 digit number or not? So finally we got 20,950 and that is the total money of this whole amount, of this whole, uh, you can say notes, fine. So these are some examples, you can say example 4 is also given, 
and uh, these are something like what is the population related thing in the beginning also i say population uh, is a huge figure actually of a state or country so that has to be uh, a five digit number it may be so uh, the population also you should know how to read the uh, right and write the uh, population of a particular state or country fine if somebody asks you so that is given there and some example five is also given say in the page number 28 then you can see example five so it is given that form a number with eight in the ten thousands place, six in the thousands place, and five in the hundreds place. The number should have one in tens place and four in the ones place. So these are very uh, tricky questions. So but it's not actually so much tricky. Also, if you know, as I said, the places, then it will be very easy. Say this is ones place, this is tens, this is hundred, this is thousand, and this is ten thousand. Suppose you have written all this. Now let go by how they have said. Form a number with eight in the ten thousand place. You put eight in the ten thousand place. Fine. Then they say six in the thousands place. Six you put here in the thousands place. Five in the hundreds place. Five will come here. Then one will be in the tens place. One will be here and four in the ones place. So four here. Now you see you got the whole number. Five digit number. So you write it together now. Like this and put the comma after the three digit as I said. Now what is this number student? This is 86 and it is in the thousands place, so it will be 86,000. And this is the another house, one house that is 514. So the total number or whole number is 86,514. So that is the number that they are asking for. Fine. So students, uh, let us wind up here. We have talked about today about the expanded form how to read and write a five digit number using the periods and uh, place value concept, phase value concept and finally expanded from all these things we have discussed, few examples also we have discussed. Next class that is on Thursday, uh, we will have, we will start with the new concept that is the next 3.2 compare and ordering of five digit number. Okay, I explore how students you can see by yourself. If you do not understand some of the concepts or examples here, you can ask me, no problem. And uh, students, on this Thursday, that is on 11th, we will continue with the compare and ordering of this uh, five digit number. But as I will upload the video, but I am going to uh, have a, a Zoom class also with you. That means on this Thursday, 11th, uh, not 9.30 exactly, you can say at 9.40. 9.40, I will have a Zoom class with you. So everybody please be ready with your mobiles or laptops, whatever you use with your headphones and all and uh, I will share you the link uh, on Wednesday in the evening time that uh, you need to click on the link and you need to join the uh, you can say the zoom meeting fine in the zoom live class live class that will be uh, for your doubt here in session you can say that what if you have anything to ask to me so you can ask about that particular thing through it fine because through call you may not be able to uh, if you have any doubts so other students can also listen that the same doubt may have may be uh, having with the other students also so at least you can clear up all those things in that uh, thursday's zoom class it will be maybe 30 to 40 minutes so please be on time at 9 40 you need to click in the link and you need to join please put yourself in the mute option and please uh, be in your school uniform in your school id okay and uh, with a headphone if it is possible and please keep yourself mute so that whatever i can i say you will be able to listen properly and if somebody also have to say something in between when i will ask when i will allow you to speak then you unmute yourself and you can speak and immediately after saying you can put yourself again in the mute option fine so that we are going to on the next coming 11 june thursday at 9 40 we will have the zoom class fine so students let us meet on the uh, thursday and i will give a very small homework related to this topic whatever i have discussed today with you